listen everybody to the words I have to say Better get ready Because the Lord is coming one day This is Daniel White the third with the second coming watch update. This is update number 307. And let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up today According to the Associated Press, North Korea conducted its third nuclear test on Tuesday in defiance of existing UN resolutions, drawing condemnation from around the world, including from its only major ally, China, which summoned the North Korean ambassador to protest. Russia also protested this nuclear test. The reclusive North Korea said uh, the test was an act of self-defense against U.S. hostility and threatened further stronger steps if necessary. Second today, according to the Irish Central newspaper, the Irish prophet Saint Malachi predicted that the next Pope after uh, Benedict will be the last Pope and that he will be Peter the Roman who will nourish the sheep in many tribulations. When they are finished the city of seven hills will be destroyed and the dreadful judge will judge his people. The prophecies of Saint Malachi, a 12th century bishop, have thrilled and dismayed readers for centuries. He has stated that there will be only one more pope after Benedict, and during his reign the end of the world will come. Many say that his predictions of previous popes have been fairly accurate and they are taken very seriously by many. Third today, according to the New York Times, Iran said on Tuesday that it was converting some of its enriched uranium into reactor fuel, potentially limiting the expansion of stockpiles that the West fears could be used for weapons. Iranian officials are meeting with the deputy director of the International Atomic Energy Agency, which has been pressing for access to a restricted military area at Pashin. International uh, inspectors suspect the site may have been used for testing bomb triggers. Fourth today, according to Agency France Press, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said on Monday that Iran was now closer to crossing the red line after which it would be able to build a nuclear weapon but had not yet reached that stage. He said that they are shortening the time needed to cross it. This must be stopped. We need to apply stronger pressure and harsher sanctions. Fifth and finally today According to Bloomberg News, China surpassed the United States to become the world's biggest trading nation last year as measured by the sum 
of exports and imports of goods. U.S. exports and imports totaled $3.82 trillion, while China's amounted to $3.87 trillion. China's growing influence in global commerce threatens to disrupt regional trading blocks as it becomes the most important commercial partner for some countries. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in Revelation 16:15, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, may I encourage you to get to know him today. To do so, please understand that you are a sinner, just as I am, and that you have broken God's laws, just as I have. However, in spite of your sins, God still loves you, and he does not want you to be separated from him forever. Romans 5.8 tells us that God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Because Jesus Christ died for your sins, all you have to do is believe in him, trust him, and receive his free gift of salvation. If you do so, you will not have to suffer eternal punishment in hell but you will live eternally in heaven with God. Dear friend, if you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again, and you want to invite him into your heart today, please pray with me this simple prayer and mean it from your heart. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some evil things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Dear friend, if you just trusted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and you prayed that prayer and you meant it from your heart, I declare to you that based upon the word of God, you are now saved from hell and you're on your way to heaven. Welcome to the family of God. I want to congratulate you on receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to gospellightsociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Jesus Christ said in John 10, 9, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. In closing, please remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew 24, 42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew 24, 44 says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Now let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator. When he prayed, even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. He's coming again. You got to get.